Hi, ladies and gentlemen. We will be summarizing, reviewing, looking over Henry Ford and Walt Waldo Trines, The Power That Wins. Now, the interesting thing about this book, we'll, we'll get to that later. So, it's the basic kind of self-help book. Um, Ford says that he believes in kindliness, and Trine says, well, you can see that in your industrial life, in your factories, the wages, the hours, the health and cleanliness of your workers. And so he also believes, he says, in finding a problem, sensing a problem. Back then it was sensing. Now we had the internet where we could actually search for the problems that he says that the people want solved. And so he took that ideology and created an economically affordable yet high value vehicle for men and women throughout America. And they talked to various tycoons and businessmen and they all praised Ford. And then Ford goes into basically diet, eat healthy, and things of that nature. Moving on. He, this is where it gets interesting. He said he believes in reincarnation. And also, he believes that every man has millions of entities that are growth material. So that was very interesting philosophy of his, in that the more you labor on the thought, the quicker, I mean, the more these entities will come and go to you. And I don't think these are sanctioned entities or people or whatever you may want to say. I believe he means energy. And the energy that he's talking about is an exchange that can grow. So you exchange for a proposition, say a car. You get a car, you pay for the car. And the car you get keeps you warm in the winter. And he drives you, takes you places. Um, it's nice to show off. And he also talks of the the worker bee, not the worker bee, but the worker in the industrial warehouse. He says, those types of people that labor hard makes it possible for people to have running water, um, warmth in their home, um, toilets that work. And he said, this is a profitable way of living and working as a laborer instead of as a creative artisan that people mostly want to take on as a, um, as a career. But he wasn't saying artistry is bad and don't do any of that stuff. But he, he just wanted you to know if you loved your work, if you worked hard and put thought into a particular niche, a problem that you wanted to solve for the betterment of humankind, you will have the power of the universe, God inside of you as your soul that he says, and these millions of entities, growth material entities, will be at your beck and call and help you to grow your business. And he says sometimes this takes a couple of days, a couple of weeks, even six months. And that's the end of the, <laughs> that's the end of this review. Hope to see you guys later. And write down write down what you thought about this review. Do you think it's crazy? Do you think it's cool? Whatever. See you guys.